morning welcome to my day in the life of a doctor so i've just got into work it is quarter to eight and i am going to skedaddle into work so i'm on trauma and orthopedics at the moment we are covering two wards and uh, the theater admissions lounge because obviously uh, in tna we're doing lots of things like uh, day cases so they have a doctor on there we also cover theater so i'm not sure whether i'm going to get into theater um today um i love to get into theater so i'll try and do that if i can not always positive um, i'm also on call so the first part of my day will be in trauma and orthopedics so it could be relatively chill because i know what i'm doing once i go on call it will be crazy and hectic because obviously i'll be on call and i'll be any doctor that's sort of on call um so welcome to my day and i hope you enjoy it the weather is too nice to be at work today it's beautiful out here i'm going to be stuck inside for 13 hours Uh, just had a, a pharmaceutical query that I couldn't really deal with, um, didn't know what to do, rang around, asked a colleague, resolved. It's always worth just ask, always ask, just ask. If you don't know, just ask, don't take chances. So I'm at the end of the shift, 13 hour shift, very busy toward the end. Ended up with a couple of patients who were really quite poorly. And actually one of the difficulties was that they were both poorly at the same time. Um, and that can be really difficult in terms of prioritising your workload. I mean, that's always the case as a doctor. You're always trying to... Sorry, just knock in my car. You're always trying to prioritise what are a lot of jobs. But probably the first time I've had two patients that, that really needed stabilising. So that was difficult. The rest of the day has been spent doing, you know, like your general sort of ward doctor, fodder, taking bloods, doing discharge summaries, um, ordering things like x-rays. Um, the key to foundation really is I think just to kind of accept that you know this is like I don't know there's a whole art form to being a ward doctor it's getting good at things like bloods it's um, understanding how to do ward round I have some really great tips for ward round actually if, if anyone's interested so in my opinion the key to a good ward round and these are these are my top tips and these will help is if you have time at the end of every day try and make sure that you have all of the results of everything that your consultants and registrars asked for in that day's ward round ready so write your bloods in uh, make sure your echo reports etc printed off and then when you're in the ward round in in the, in the morning the consultant will say to you okay well ask for an lft and what is it and you you have it right there or you, I asked for an echo yesterday and you can just open the report out and it makes you look really really s slick one of the things I did wonder when I first started working as a doctor and you know we don't we don't actually get much practice as med students to do ward rounds so come in and try and prep your notes and what you want is things like your news scores what are they scoring and always if you can try and sneak around and ask the nurses um how was the patient overnight because the last thing you want is you know you're standing there you're saying you know the consultant will say to you you know how is so and so how have they been and you saw them yesterday and the day before and they've been absolutely fine and you'll say oh yeah they've been fine and then you know the nurse will say um no 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 actually you know and they have this whole history of things that happened overnight that you weren't aware of like nurses are amazing nurses just know will know always know so much more Sorry, my lips are really dry. I haven't haven't eaten. Um, the nurses will always know so much more about your patient than you do because they're the ones that spend time with the patient. So they're a fantastic resource. So use them. So try and get in early and prep your notes. If you have time before the end of the day, try and get everything that they asked for in the ward round ready so that when they ask you the next morning, you know, oh, what was this thing that I asked for? You have it ready. Such as, you know, if they say we want a cardiology uh opinion try and make sure that you have that and you can write it down i know it's not always easy but that is kind of the thing that i would i would advise to try and do where possible and always make sure you've got a supply of continuation sheets because and it's happened to me many times you're on ward round you're like you know f running around like a little lost sheep and you know all of a sudden you find that the trolley has got no continuation sheets and you end up just you know seeming really silly as you run back to the office you know trailing all kinds of ECGs and APGs and things like that. Um, so yeah, these are my top ward round tips. Um, I am going to drive home now because I'm very tired. So, um, you know, I was going to tell you more about my day, but I think, I think the thing that probably tells you most about my day is is kind of you know oh, how tired I am. You know, thirteen hours is a lot. Um, 
but also you know I, I really love my job and it was hard today because I had a couple of poorly patients um you know uh one who had a, a chest problem uh another well both who had chest problems actually but very different ones um so i hope this is useful to you um foundation foundation does get easy you do find your feet with it but you have to be careful to constantly not get complacent with it and try and find ways to enjoy it as well because it can be quite demoralizing when you get to the end if you feel like you've just taken notes for two years or taken bloods or whatever but you know I, I don't have many foundation shifts left and uh, I'm excited for the next stage and I still love being a doctor so it's all brilliant um, please like and subscribe leave me any comments and thank you for watching bye